Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Hi, this is Rem Stibble and DragonBlogger.com. And tonight, as you can see, we're going to talk about System Mechanic Pro. Now, while it's loading up here, I'll mention to you that I have reviewed this program before. And I really enjoyed it. Well, what we're seeing here is the dashboard. When we first go into the dashboard, it will automatically do the analysis when we first install the program. But after that, you do need to click where it said Reanalyze. And what you're seeing here is it's analyzing a whole lot of different uh, components that are on the computer. Uh, these components will allow it to pretty much fix just about anything that could possibly be, be wrong. When you first run this, it will take a few minutes to get everything run. And if there's something that you don't want to check, then you can skip those. And you can do that another time. Uh, but while we're waiting here, I just mentioned that I have reviewed this program before, but an earlier version. So this is my second chance to review System Mechanic Pro and I gotta tell you, I really, really enjoy this program. Uh, everything that I could possibly need to look at is right here. Uh, again, it's taken a little while because the first time it's looking at every possible problem that my computer happens to have. And as soon as it's finished analyzing, that little symbol that's turning and, and turning at the top will change. And all of those blue bars, there we go, it found one issue that needed to be checked and be looked at and we can see that there's a, a, a space there where it shows us what is wrong and we can choose to repair the selected or we can choose to look at a number of other options and there are things that we might want to check out but there are only one thing that has to be done right away now i can select uh, to not show me these warnings again or i can always have them if i choose to do that once it's done, we can go in here and take a look at what needed to be done, and we can see that we have no issues. But we do have other things that we might want to look at. And I'm going through, and I chose a second option and a third option, and just looking at the potential unwanted desktop programs that might pop up, and I might say, well, I don't really like those, but... What if I don't know what it's okay to turn off or what what it's okay to, to leave, leave running? Well, when you go in there and you look at the startup options, other people have given some ratings as to whether they think it's okay to get rid of it or maybe you should keep it a little bit. So then you can look at each of those items and say, yeah, you know what, I think this is a system thing that I need or this is not and this is something I could probably live without. Um, Things like having a certain program always run that maybe you don't need that program running every time you start up Windows. Obviously, certain system items, yeah, you probably need that. And you notice there are some items with no thumbs up or thumbs down, and that's just because nobody has either used that on a regular basis or nobody's decided that uh, it needs any attention. So again, as I say, you can scroll through and look at all the different items that you happen to have. And once you've selected those, then the next time you reboot, those items will be turned off so that when you start up the system, it should start up a little bit quicker. You notice I chose a lot of things and a few things I put back and then took off again just to show you that it could be done. And... I'm examining them. I'm making sure. Do I want to change anything? And there we go. Now it still has those as 17 possible unwanted, but that's okay. I don't have to worry about that right now. Privacy Shield. This is going to do deal with the things that other people on the outside world could possibly see about my computer, or what items may be vulnerable that need some privacy issues to be checked. And you can see each of the different options that I have that I could choose from to either allow or disallow. 
Now, we can see that there are no more issues, but if I wanted to recheck, I could. And I did. Just to see if there's other things that need to be done. And you notice that it looks like things are running a lot faster. The only one that seems to be lagging behind with any uh, amount of time is the uh, Windows junk files. And that may be the last thing that's checked, but notice how fast it's going because I've already just recently checked it. And I can see that while there are no major issues that need to be changed, a few of those other issues still show up, and that's okay. Because we want to make changes to them, we can. If we don't want to make changes, that's all right. Now the next one is the toolbar. You notice that our toolbox, there's a lot of things that can be done here. You've got a number of different options, and each one of them have a variety of things that can be done or not done. You can choose independently to change some of these options, or you can uh, run it all at once and get everything done. And this one's allowing us to choose what we want to check, what we want to uh, have automatically cleaned or automatically repaired when we click the button. It's going to analyze all that information. And some of this runs a little bit faster because part of that was already fixed when we did the initial scan of the system. So some of this is kind of rehashing what we've already done. And that's still okay. We can choose to do our cleanup either just a little bit at a time or we can choose to do our cleanup by doing a lot of things all at once. And I think it's okay, especially when we're first getting used to the program, to go ahead and check out all the options that we have and to see, well, do I want to run it this way or do I want to run it in another area? This actually is doing a more detailed analysis. And it does take a few moments. And there are different screens that you can see on each of the windows. Now, some of them have a lot of information. Some of them have just a very little bit of information. But you can see that there's different uh, views that you can have and information that you can look at. Now this one, I've got 749 items that need to be taken care of. Some of them may be real serious. Some of them may be just very minor. Uh, a lot of them may be just nothing more than cleaning up some temporary files. And you notice it's cleaning them up pretty quickly. And it tells me that I can do an internet cleanup, and I can do a Windows cleanup, a registry cleanup. I can also speed up my computer. There are various speed increases that I can do. I can boost my internet speed based upon the type of internet uh, connection that I have. And I can go in and select that if I know what I happen to have. And I can uh, alter that. And I apologize for the... Uh, image of uh, my brother showing up at the bottom there uh, kind of an occupational hazard I'm on the internet when I'm doing these things so sometimes things show up and I was busy recording and not paying attention to see that something was showing up there at the bottom he's a good guy so we'll let him we'll let him slide this time but you see all the things that are able to be boosted by doing a net boost. That's a little bit different than the internet boost, but it's close to the same thing. Disk defragmenter. Now this can take you a long time if you happen to have large hard drives. The nice thing is that the first thing it's going to do is it's going to analyze it to determine if you actually do need to have any defragmentation done. Now when I first looked at this, I saw that I was missing a drive. I had just finished an update uh, of Windows, and you're going to actually see this kind of like skip after a few moments here because I actually skipped ahead uh, in the video a little bit on, on some of these checks. But um, when I first ran this program, it told me stop what I'm doing because it had found 15,000 issues, and it told me that Windows had just downloaded an update. And if I continue using the program, it was going to wipe out all those updates. So I stopped. I rebooted the computer. 
then re-ran the program after the installation was done and that's when you saw that I only had the one issue to worry about. So the update to Windows wiped out all of those 15,000 issues. Again, checking for a fragmented hard drive can take an extremely long period of time. If you're short on time, this is something you might want to do towards the evening time. But once you've set this program up, and once you've got things running, and here you can see my hard drives really weren't that badly fragmented. There's a lot of good space going on there. If I wanted to defragment them, I could. It's not really necessary at this point in time because they're not really that bad off. I have had times when it's been 40 and 50, 60 percent fragmented. Oh, terrible things. Now this one is a program accelerator. It's designed to not only defragment my uh, hard drives, but this one will actually go in and analyze the hard drives and do something to accelerate the software that's on them so that I'll have access to them faster and so that they'll do their jobs. And I went ahead and skipped in on this one. And uh, sorry about that. Uh, showed that the uh, uh, hard drives are really not that bad off. That all my programs seem to be doing this fine. And again, that's probably because of the update to Windows that had just gotten completed. Now this is going to look at the startup program list. Again, we saw that earlier. But this is a different view of it and uh, a different spot to take a look. And this is going to show you what's still on the startup. Do we need to check and make any more changes to it? Protection. We've got system shields and we've got disk scrubbers. We've got all kinds of extra things here. The system shields can actually protect our system while we're using our computer. We can do a malware scan. Is one of the things that the system scanners do uh, and it looks for any problems Now I ran this for a while and really I didn't find any problems at all but I let it run anyway just to see if it would show up anything that's one thing that I really like about a program like this malware can really mess up your computer if you're not familiar with it it is not good stuff to have in there. One word of caution, that disk scrubber, that will wipe out everything on your hard drive. So be very careful about it. It won't mess with your C drive, but it will mess with any other drive that ha does not have Windows. That incinerator that you saw earlier, that's an awesome program because you really can use that to get rid of programs completely. It's a complete wipeout. Now, there's... Control panel issues. There, there are many, many things that I don't mess with. Advanced P, uh, automatic PC maintenance. This is where I can go in and I can automatically set up things that I want to run without me having to worry about it. The program will run in background and take care of things as I go. Uh, you'll actually see an icon uh, in your toolbar section that you can go in and change. This is where you can set up sort of all, I won't say it's like, um, uh, what do you call it? I can't remember the, the term now. Uh, but this is where you can actually set up what kind of computer are you, or, or use are you getting out of your computer? Uh, are you going to be using this as a gaming computer? Are you going to be using this as uh, internet? So this allows you to optimize your memory usage, your CPU usage, um, pretty much everything that you can possibly think of that deals with the actual speed of your computer and what's actually going on. And if you're not sure about something, you can click on it and see what it happens to say. And it'll, it'll uh, increase your read and write speed to your uh, hard drive. It'll optimize your, your memory usage uh, to keep things at tip-top shape. Um, like I said, I, I went ahead and set mine for ultra gaming mode, even though my BIOS also does that on my particular computer. The last one, of course, is the anti-malware. We were talking about that earlier. I kind of got ahead of myself. 
this one's where you actually can set up and determine what malware will do and mine's showing that I never have run a scan and that's because I hadn't run a scan I started to but it's going to take forever and ever and ever to run it so I decided I wasn't going to go through all my hard drives while we're sitting here waiting and just sit and wait right now I'm updating and I believe it is that uh, to see if there's any new virus definitions uh, for the malware scanner but malware can get in and really wreck havoc with your computer and that's not a good thing uh, last one was firewall I don't change firewall settings I don't know enough about them to really mess with it now overall you can change and adjust some of the things about the settings of the program uh, where you see the little question mark at the top uh, uh, right hand kind of center that's where you can actually go in and add your serial number your license key when you actually download this program and and pay for it you can put your license key in right there but this is where you can set up when do you want things to run when do you not want them to run how how often all of those kind of things uh, can be set up in this particular area uh, while we're just looking at the different options that are showing up on the screen uh, let me tell you that I ran this I have run this um, it's been a couple of days since I first installed this which you saw me I installed it and I'm looking at the software and the information first fresh and right then but after running this for a couple of days I noticed the pop-up on my uh, toolbar there and I took a look at it and it told me that since the last startup of my computer it had uh, protected me from like 15,000 or 20,000 possible uh, fragmentation issues. I've had pop-ups to tell me there's a new update for the software. I get pop-ups to tell me, hey, you know, you're being protected in real time. You're okay. Everything's going good. Uh, it tells me when there's there's an issue that I might need to worry about before I even know that I might need to worry about it again I ran this last thing all over again I'm looking at the, oh, no, this one I'm looking at the PC status I wanted to see what was uh, all about because it's the first I, I thought I was rescanning there what it's doing is it's propagating all the information about my actual hard drive uh, showing me what hard drives I have how much RAM I have uh, all of the uh, detailed information and it's kind of nice too because it shows me a little bit more about my computer I actually thought I had more hard drives installed than I did learned that I forgot to plug some of them in when I did the scan initially I like this program I think this is one of those programs that can really benefit each and every one of us uh, in other places we'd have to run a defragmenter we'd have to do a cleanup we'd have to do all of these things separate registry scanner we'd have to defrag the memory we'd have to do all of the things that the internet boosting all of those things we could do with 10 to 15 different software with system mechanic we can do it all with just one piece of software for dragonblogger.com this is Raymond Stapleton wishing you a great evening even better tomorrow good night folks